to my channel it's Rebecca also known as 4kids147 and I thought we'd have a mess with these stamps that I got from Craft Buddy so these are crystal art stamps um, and I thought we'd give them a go and see how they work with potential spare diamonds maybe crystal ones primarily now um, I don't have a huge block for the likes of the big flower but I can get away with a couple of the smaller ones <clears throat> so oh it's sticky 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 so I think I can get away with that one and then I say I can get away with some smaller ones as well so I'm just taking off a little bit of the sticky and then I'm currently using a VersaFine ink pad just because I find it brings out the detail a little bit better and I think I got this from Hobbycraft most art places sell them so I'm just trying to make sure that the stamp is quite loaded up it's quite new this well it is new this stamp so we'll see how it goes oh that's printed out pretty well that's come up with a pretty clear image so I can imagine you could do a little bit of colouring maybe and a little bit of diamonds let's zoom you in and I'll do a second one of the same so are we like no we're not lined up Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to line that up on the paper or card. And then I'm just making sure that I'm pressing down everywhere before I lift it up. Didn't do as well on that one, but that's not the stamp's fault. So I will clean off these stamps after, but I do want to do a couple of others. So I want to have a go at this smaller one. So we've got two or three different types of diamonds in that one. Let's have a go at this smaller stamp. Press down. That's done all right. And then what else was it I wanted to have a look at? So there was also, that was it, one of these little swirls. Let's try a swirl. So I'm just getting the worst of the sticky off just on my hand. Just be, That's just because it's brand new. Now you could of course line these up to come straight out of here, straight off. But for the purposes of this, I'm just messing. There we go. So stamps wise, they're very nice. Very nice crisp stamps. And then there are a couple of things you can try with this. Now a subscriber did send me some bling. Um, this is just from Jolie's, but this is already adhesive based, which is why I thought these would be fun to use. Um, but of course you can use your own leftover diamonds as well and um, you could also stamp this in multiple different sizes so I'm looking at the biggest one now and that will sit inside that flower see how pretty is that say so I'm just doing this in black you could do this in whatever color you wanted um, do we go for maybe we'll mix up so I'm going for a different size here just going a bit further down to the sizes I'm just liking the fact that these are adhesive backed which means I don't have to mess about with glue at the moment I'm thinking we try a few plus blue is my favorite color 
Um, if you were doing this with your spare diamonds, um, you can use the likes of nail polish. Let me just zoom in a bit more just so you can see in a little bit more detail. That's as far as I can get the camera to zoom in. Um, people have been known to use just a little dab of nail polish when they're sticking down, you know, the odd gem that maybe has lost its stick. Um, you can get, oh, that one flew. Um, you can get mini glue dots. That can also work. <clears throat> and then you could also potentially get um, PVA glue would also do it and that dries clear as well but these are looking pretty now it does only have five petals and i do only have three colors so and i lost that one if it will stick there we go so I'm going to leave out the darkest one because that's what I used in the middle. But of course, with the amount of colours we do get, oh, and that wasn't even in shot. Um, the amount of colours that we do get in diamond paintings, you've got lots and lots of variety for there. And then if we have a look, so maybe if we go darkest to lightest on the swirl. So I'm going to go for the darkest blue that's in this. And to get hold of this, it does actually leave a very, very small, in fact, no, it doesn't even leave a ring around. And then we want the next size down. Stick. There we go. And then we go for the palest one in the small size. So say this this sheet of sticky gems just has two different sizes. But look at that. How pretty is that? Um, and then get hold of it. Let's go for the dark one again. So it's going to focus. There we go. So you just stick the little gems where it tells you to. Say so if you actually did this in say a very pale grey, stamped it in a very pale grey, you get more of a pop than I'm getting. But how funky does that look? Say so I'm purely using these diamonds for ease. Um, let's move that up a little bit. And let's have a look. So this one has a few different sizes on it. I am not planning anything with which ones I'm using or which colours and where. I'm sure people could get a little bit more creative with the colours than I'm doing. But I just wanted to show how this can work. Let's do a few different ones on these petals and then we'll get a, there's another little space in the middle so maybe we get a different sort of combination on the go. I'm purely using these as a safe for speed because they're already sticky um, but I would just use a sort of PVA or tacky glue for doing these. So let's put the palest. You're going to stick. Stick into my tweezers. There we go. So I'm going to put the palest with that one. Then I'm going to put the medium one with this one. And then I'm going to put the darkest one. With this medium shade. See the pattern we've got going on there? I'm trying to see if the light will show it properly. 
and then maybe we go for the medium one in the middle and of course you could build this out however you wanted to but isn't that sweet okay so I think I've messed about with diamonds quite enough But what I also thought you could do, um, where did I put my other scissors? Everything is still in a little bit of disarray um, due to building works. But let's go for the one that we've completely done. Now these scissors I've had since scrapbooking, the little snip scissors. Um, but they're better for more fine detailed work is you can then use your outline to cut it out. And this is probably something that nobody needs to watch. I'm not doing this as carefully as I might do in another given situation. I just want to be able to show you the sorts of things that you could potentially do with these. Maybe I will have a mess in the future. I don't know when in the future, but maybe I'll have a mess at doing a card or two, though I haven't made a card as such in quite a while. Nearly there. There we go. So that is now all fully cut out. Let me see if I can find a piece of card that would maybe complement that. Excuse me while I rummage. Okay, so first piece I've grabbed hold of, for example, this is just a similar colour. Um, but if you look at that, so you've got the background colour being very similar to this top colour. You could also potentially bend up the flowers or the leaves, bend them round a little bit, just so that they're a little bit more 3D and pop that on a little melt, maybe cluster a few together, either in a coordinating colour or in a different one. I think that would look pretty. Very nice. I also like the idea of potentially using the same colour um, all the way round. And then as I say, you could, before you actually stuck the diamonds down, you might decide that you actually want to colour in some of it. So you could colour in the little swirls around the edges. And that could make that pop even more. Have I got a pen handy? Let's have a look. Okay. So I'm thinking the likes of a hot pink. And there's a little swirl in here. See if I can do it now I've placed the gems down. See if I can just do one petal. Now I don't have a load of fancy colours. In fact my kids have probably got more. Because they like to do the colouring books. But there is a pattern within this flower. That gives some little blocks. And I went outside the line, so, oh, there's more. See, there we go. Oh, focus. So can you see that gives a whole nother dimension to the leaves? Let's have a look what other colours I've got. I have got a blue. I'm not sure, it's quite a vivid blue, this one, actually. Now, of course, this would be better working out and doing before you stick the diamonds down, but it is possible once you put the diamonds down already. I 
I nearly coloured in the wrong bit then, that could have been fun. I want to colour in the pieces that are blocked and leave the white. So, focus. So that's a completely different look for the leaf, depending on what colour you do it as. Um, and then I think in these, I do potentially have, I have a more turquoisey blue. While well, we're on the blue theme, so this is actually quite a lighter colour, though it's definitely more turquoise. Oh, I missed one. I thought it wasn't looking quite right. There we go. So, when it focuses, there's another type of blue. So let me see if I can put it on white so that you can maybe see it a bit better. So you can see I've coloured in three of those in three different colours and it gives completely different looks and um, so I can even imagine a rainbow type flower would look pretty good and um, you could do the same with the swirls so let me go for a really pale blue on the swirl at least I don't think I've no I've not used this blue yet uh, we'll colour in the gaps in between as best I can. So we have a blue theme going on today, but you could do this with any colour. And this is limitless. So maybe if you've got children that want a diamond paint as well, they do some images. See there, it's got a completely different look now. It's got the blue, but it's got an added little bit of sparkle. What other colours have we got that go with the blue? Um, I've got a grey, but I don't know if that would be the best one. I don't know if hot pink's the best one either. Lime green. Mm. This isn't helping. Okay, I'm going to go for the turquoise that I did on that one because I do like that colour. I know we're going back to blue, but just to colour it in before I place any diamonds down. So you could set your kids this mission to do all your colouring in, depending on the age of them, of course, or whether you actually want to do something with it afterwards. But... So it's a very, very bad job of colouring in that one, but it's to give the idea of the colour. And then which one looks best with it? Maybe not the darker one. Maybe the pale one actually it doesn't compete with it as much. So go for the pale one in a big. of smaller ones and another bigger one Ooh. get a hold of it so that's the concept of just doing all the same a set you could pick colors that were a lot better than the ones that I've picked but it does give you an idea of the sort of things that you can do um, you can colour in, of course, on both the flower and the swirl. I like the flower. I like the um, coloured in petals on that. It gives the white as well. But yeah, I just thought we'd have a little play while on camera um, and see, you know, what we could do with these. I'm conscious that I got them a bit ago and we've not done anything yet. But this is the set that I got. And there's a few different sets that they do, um, but this one gives you a few different size flowers, gives you some little circle clusters, just some little strips, 
and it's also got words as well that then also have a space for you to pop a little diamond so you could truly make some cards out of this but yeah I think I think they can be fun little projects um, especially if you're a card maker you can combine the two combined using um, some of your diamonds maybe from your special projects and mix them in um, and yeah see, see what see what it brings you so thank you so much for joining me it's very mix match this one um, but it's a video that I've been thinking of getting out for a while and I just wanted to make sure um, that I got this filmed so that I could show you all but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon